Hey everyone, FPS Chasley here. Welcome back to 1990 Soviet coup. Second go through, this time it's personal. Oh, what did we do last time? We sunk some stuff. <laughs> Didn't get hit. Important. Uh, now there's a Soviet sub going to mine Oslo, so we're heading that way. I think we were at Oslo last time before the last mission. I think the second to last mission was spe Special Forces Interdiction at Oslo, and then we did some tankers and tenders, and now we're going back to Oslo. Getting our uh, getting our money's worth out of the the reactor today, out of the fuel today. Need you to give me a sandwich. Come on in here, Shug. New sonar contact two nine. Did I like? I coincidentally pick my like credits font at the beginning of my. YouTube VODs to be the same as like this font. It looks exactly the same as mine. Moderate duct, moderate layer 144, our depth 50 heading 0195 knots. So we're heading, heading the direction of the contact. All right, very well. Do it. On sonar, lost con. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh my gosh, no, don't do that. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Press the R instead of F. Don't want to reload a tube. Okay. Skagarak. Where's Skagarak? That sounds familiar. What is Skagarak? <laughs> Who or what is a private boots? Contact faded. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Jedi just cut them down like butter. They are pretty useless. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Just keep on. Keep on keeping on, man. Life's a garden. Dig it. There's no layer. Good. <laughs> That's just. Can someone make that a meme? That there is no spoon. Is it? Does any? Okay. So, whether or not you know the answer, what gender <laughs> is that child from the Matrix that says there is no spoon? Is that supposed to be the point? But I want someone to make a meme where it's like, uh, instead of there is no spoon, it's like there is no layer. I don't know if that has the same, like, uh, connotations or. But it just, that's just, it sounded funny when it popped in my head. Hey, Spudicus. Oh, no, don't don't apologize for being late. Glad to have you. Old Skip is doing fine. <laughs> yeah, we just stretched out the reactor coming down here. Let's stretch her legs. <laughs> Full speed from uh, northern tip of Norway all the way down here to Oslo. Looking for a diesel sub. Gonna lay some mines. I'm assuming it's diesel. Could be nuclear. Might need to uh to juice it up a little bit here actually. Make turns for seven knots, maneuvering eye. Make depth two five zero feet, die by. Oh that's true, you're also not late at all. We just got started. There was uh some electric buzzing in my mic that we were troubleshooting for like the last 18 minutes 15 minutes <laughs> so we really are just getting started here <clears throat> oh and since the last time thanks to john gare john jair 141 and oh sniffable for following thank you and i'm glad that's how long my follow list is because i need to uh pay attention now Sierra, one. Hey, we got ourselves a fox trot deer. Fox trot deer, gosh darn. Oh, we're about to be heard. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. Contact 
Recon maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Oh, there's the liar. Hot diggity damn. Okay, it doesn't pop up until 400 feet, apparently. 400 feet beneath the... Uh, not 400 feet beneath the keel, 400 foot waters. Uh, can we completely drop our our noise on this guy? Can we get him to zero or lower? I'll stop and rig for ultra quiet. It's good for 6, 7 dB. Can I get one more dB? Can I get one more dB? Can I get one more dB? Ah, is that good enough? Does that have to go to negative one or zero? Good enough to uh, lose that track for him there. <clears throat> There's still a low buzz. God damn it. Okay, I think I need to get a new cable here then. Just gonna have to try and deal with it today. I don't think I have any other mics that are worth. Uh, <laughs> can either have this with a buzzing or camcorder mic, <laughs> onboard audio camcorder mic. Oh, is that where we are? The Skagarak? No buzz, Tavarish Commandeer. <sighs> what? We had 56% solution. We just got down to 51. Oh boy, he's heading right for us. Oh my god, close aboard. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, slink on by here. Let's just all stop and let him sail on by. It's going west for some reason, maybe because he got a whiff of me. But we're going to try and slink on by getting them getting them boofles close aboard. Oh, mama. He's not as capable on the torpedo front. Thankfully, he's not a tango. But this is still very close. Twenty years I've been at sea. A war at sea. A war with no battles, no monuments, only casualties. At least we got the 48s. Yeah, Mark 37s would be fine too here if it was just uh, the old SSKs there. But I will not say no to 48s, no sir. <clears throat> Post guards in the engineering spaces. If he can get to the Caterpillar, he can get to somewhere more vital. Frankfurt, Frankfurt, huh? <laughs> Do they actually eat Frankfurters in Frankfurt or and or Germany, or is that an American invention? Is it all bratwurst in Germany? Bratwurst. He's going eight knots too. He's he's kind of he's cruising. Is this what the model looked like in dot mod? It doesn't doesn't seem familiar to me. Doesn't seem right, but I guess it is. I don't remember it having that many uh, free flooding events. Oh, that's cool looking. Go 
build a fox trial as a, as a, as a kid. Did anyone pick up on my Ramius speech <laughs> earlier? <clears throat> Are you not using dot? No, I am, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to uh, sound like I was putting you down there. No, we're on a, this is 1990 realism campaign. It just goes on the stock game. to hear Ramius talk about MNW. <laughs> you could you could probably tweak that for uh, modern naval warfare. <laughs> I've been waiting for twenty years. Twenty years of wait. A wait with no games, with no subsims, only shooters. <laughs> Ooh, that was ballsy. The old three knots there, that was a little sketch. Make turns for two knots, maneuvering eye. <laughs> a good recreation of a bad accent. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't think Ramius was not putting on any accent in that movie. That's the thing. He was just. Not Ramius, sorry. Uh, Sean Connery. Left two. He was just Sean Connery in that movie, and it's fine. <laughs> and it's weird, because when I think of Sean Connery, I don't, even, I don't even really think of his accent being Scottish. I know he's Scottish, I just think of it being Sean Connery. The rudder isn't this entire surface, is it? For the skipjack? Or was it? Scottish Lithuanian. <laughs> was it really? Is it the entire surface for all American boats? Is that a Russian thing where it's just like half the, uh, Whatever you call it. Make turns for four knots, maneuvering eye. Yeah, it's a rudder. See, I, I, I was blanking because I was like, is it the whole surface? Because if it wasn't the whole surface, I was like, okay, then what's the rest of that yeah, surface so called? Making turns for four <clears throat> knots. Con helm, steady course. The whiskey has a higher test depth. <laughs> uh, what's his course? 272, so minus 180, well 90, and then plus 30, 132.
Okay, so we are we are moments away from entering them their baffles on that guy. I think we're two degrees away. Which is a weird way to express it, but it's true. Oh yeah. Tons of tons of forces. <clears throat> we're in them baffles, let's do it. Salami. <laughs> no one wants soft, the one it had. Con helm, steady course. Con sonar, Sierra one is cavitating. Oh boy, there we go. Con fire control, weapon acquired. Just running away. No, no, no counter fire. Something I'm surprised the mods haven't done is like a uh, firing delay on these tubes. Like you give the order to shoot and it's like, I don't know, 10 second delay before a torp comes out of the tube. <clears throat> Didn't even put up a fight. Or countermeasure. Captain's just waking up. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two eight three. Contact breaking up. Hey, there you go. That was surgical. Textbook. Not maneuvering eye. All right. There you go. One and done. <laughs> Act like a countermeasure so the torpedo goes around. Oh, they got the old mod do stare. Wolf pack of enemy SSKs sail within the next seven days in an attempt to try to transit the Gayuk area. The Gayuk gap, damn it! Ugh. It must be sunk. <laughs> it must be sunk before they get the opportunity to cause mayhem along the North Atlantic convoy routes. Two to four boats. Green 12, green 14, southwest of the line. Oh, there's another subhead in this way. I'm just going to give them the old, uh, the old end around there. All right, and this time I'm not going to let the uh, the target sail me by like that previous VOD. <clears throat> I'm going to hang out in the in the back here. Yeah, we're just going to say 012 is them. Get the intercept. Focus, bra. 139 for 40. 085, we're heading approximately the same direction. Strong duck, strong layer. Uh, let's crank that down a little bit. Let's do it. 86 feet, shallow layer. Con sonar, new contact bearing. One, one, five. Designated Sierra, one. Anthony Walker, UK, hello. Anthony, thanks for following. Alright, what we got? What we got? We got nuke boats, or is this our. Is this a fishing boat, first of all? Con 
sonar new contact bearing. That's a Zero, fishing boat. Eight, Merchant two, City, whatever. Sierra, two. Just go for the old quiet. silent running here till we sort this out. Got some nuke Sierra boats. Nuke boats. Submerged submarine. Got some atom smashers. Uh, seemingly close aboard. Seemingly rather close aboard. Can't believe we weren't already following. Finally caught a live stream. Hey, glad to have you. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> <clears throat> I was thinking about popping beneath this layer, but, uh... I think that will get rid of any advantage I have at the moment. May go hot on his sonar at that point if we pop beneath this layer, so we're just gonna stay up here and hang out. Stoked for modern and naval warfare to get back into semi-deep sim. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. I feel like cold waters doesn't scratch that itch. That's fair. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. Because it's fun, at least to me. I saw a new game on Steam that I want to check out. It's uh, not Steel Beast. It's called Steel something. But it's a VR tank game. I want to check that out. Haven't been to the old VR in a while. Steel Crew. Yes, there you go. I just bought it earlier today. <laughs> Noobs report to the galley for cranking duty. It's quiet out here. Uh, what's strong layer worth? Spraz, wasn't it some other st where strong duct plus strong layer is worth like minus 20 dB or something? So strong layer going to be like minus 10. Okay, he's heading this way, heading right for us. I think we gotta shoot. <laughs> no, nah, we don't need to send him down, that's fine. Okay, we'll give this guy two torps and then we'll be... On our merry way here. Con sonar. We are habitating. Con, con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 2. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 2. Con fire. Passing 100 feet. Mm. Con, come right to. Continue two. the turn. Helm I. Steel crew is good, but dead player base. Is there any any kind of s single player? Because I'm fine with that. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar regained. Con make depth five five zero feet. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Con sonar lost contact. See passing 600 feet. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. <clears throat> I remember sometime I was playing and it was like strong duct and doesn't it go to very? Con, sonar. Maybe it was very strong duct and very strong layers, like minus Seven, twenty two. dB. Oh, is that a checkbox to be like classify? When would that ever be? When would you ever do that? Because if you see something like in the scope, it kind of like it automatically classifies it. And if you're on sonar, you use the sound signature. Come right. Make turns for one, five knots. 
This thing is good, dude. This thing has crazy acceleration. Played as an LA the other day and it accelerates like a pig in this this mod. Comparatively speaking to the skipjack. Kaboom! Got him. Max attenuations minus twelve each. Okay. Minus 12, I guess, like, to be semantical, I guess, is really not the best way to think about it. It's, like, plus 12 to go into the duct from baseline. But it doesn't really matter. That's just me being a, uh, being an engineer. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Reload these tubes. More pressing at the moment. Just want to see if there's anyone else out here. Pretty dang quiet. <clears throat> Even if there isn't, I'm fine with leaving because this isn't our target. We're supposed to be going after diesel boats here. Just gonna wait for these torpedoes to frickin' run Not out of fuel. Making turns for five. Mark 48 is other circles. Circle, circle jerking. <laughs> it's weird how it just like gets stuck in circles sometimes. Is that a bug or is that desired behavior? Come left to one, nine, five, helm, I. Con, helm, steady course. Acquire something but loses track. Okay. Because I'm just used to dangerous waters where it would like sometimes like circle once and then continue snaking. Okay, kapum. Dunski. Oh, I didn't realize you can rotate the camera in the pause menu. Well. Thank goodness for uh, accidental button presses. <laughs> All right. Not the target indeed. I will give it a save. Ah, I think that's our, those might be our guys. I want to apply chapstick quickly. Before they get here. Or AI derp. <laughs> Whoever comes through the gap, we're going for him. It's always confusing to me when I hear Denmark straight because I think Denmark, but no, it's that between Iceland and Greenland. All right, there they be. Come to Papa. Local conditions, broken high wind, no duct, very weak layer. Ah, good. Yeah, choppy sea should mean good mixing. Not likely to have a layer. All right, we're heading in the general direction of the contact. Very good. Con sonar lost contact. Last bearing zero nine six. Contact faded. Make depth one zero zero feet. Die by. Rather noisy out here. Rather noisy. Okay. Very weak is minus one dB. Wow, that's like uh, that's like barely detectable. Let's go on and pop beneath that layer. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. We may end up going hot actively in this one. 
I got a feeling. It's just so noisy out here. Oh, what was it? 096? Let's head that way. Come right to 097 Helm I. <laughs> One DB is kind of sort of 33%. Oh yeah, that's where we get into DB stuff. Is that uh, DBA? Because no one like raw DB like. Con helm steady course. And DB difference is uh what is that a hundred? Hundred times difference in power. Con dive at two five zero feet dive by. I guess one one dB sounds like a lot until I guess if they gave a sensitivity then if it's like point one dB then it's like okay it's not actually pretty big. Yeah, but DB, DB is logarithmic, so like 10 dB is not linear, like 10 dB is like, 20 dB is a lot more than 10 dB. Like 100 times more, isn't it? Or I guess logarithmic, whatever the log of 10 is. Let's give the old ultra, ultra quiet three knots, see if we can't Make turns for three pick nine. something up, lower our sensitivity a little bit. Ten times the watts every three dB. Ten times the watts every three dB is very little. One dB zero, loss of being one. one tenth. This is one of those situations where it's like, just show me a plot. <laughs> What's the phrase? Is like language is like the first barrier to understanding or something. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Depth four five zero feet dive by. Log is a whole other whole other animal. Isn't DB like if you plot it log on a log scale, it's linear? Log log. <laughs> I don't know. I don't work with DB. I haven't studied DB in probably ten years. <laughs> I just want to like look it up. A unit used to measure the intensity of a sound or the power level of an electrical signal by comparing it with a given level on a logarithmic scale. Decibel is a relative unit of measurement equal to one tenth of a bell. It expresses the ratio of two values of a power or root power quantity on a logarithmic scale. Two signals whose levels differ by one decibel have a power ratio of 10 to the one divided by 10. 1.26 a root power ratio of 10 to the 1 20th 1.12 ah. <laughs> I 
Uh, da, 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 da. A change in power by a factor of 10 corresponds to a 10 dB change in level. When expressing root power quantities, a change in amplitude by a factor of 10 corresponds to a 20 decibel change in level. Okay, that just made it more confusing. Oh, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, we got a solution. Hot damn. That was uh, fast. Con, dive at four, five, zero feet. Dive by. It's fine. I think in in some episode very long ago, I was talking about what would be the what would be the quickest path or the or the best course to get into this guy's baffles the quickest. I guess it would be perpendicular to the baffles line, wouldn't it? Well, because the baffles line's moving that direction at his speed. Would the fastest way just be completely par parallel but inverse to his course? Opposite, rather? I don't know. I don't know why that gives me such... throws me for a loop. DB are like trying to understand recycling laws. At least DB are consistent across uh, <laughs> jurisdictions. At least there's that. I always found it weird that I'm fine with like the protons and the neutrons and the photons, but when it comes to electrical engineering, it's just like I give up. <laughs> it just doesn't click. It's weird. Not weird, but just uh, interesting. Just uh, analyzing AC circuits, that was just always like, ugh. Barely got through that in college. All the all the imaginary numbers, all the cosines and sines, it's like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. I know that's why yeah, I know you're an EE Bob, that's uh <laughs> half the fun here poking at you. A crazy, crazy bastard. <laughs> My roommate in college was an EE also. He was actually the head of the uh, IEEE chapter at our at our college. Tychosis, hello. The response of the human ear works logarithmic logarithmically, yeah. And the gain attenuation of electrical systems work logarithmically. It's really never any case where we convert back to the reference units. What are the reference units? I don't know, I feel like I'm even more confused. <laughs> All I know is that the human eye and the human ear just has insane dynamic ranges that are not matched by even the most fancy equipment you can buy on the market in terms of cameras and microphones and speakers and such. <laughs> DB slash slash one micropascal what's double slash at one meter i only know that one upa means micropascal because i've probably written that before too and i couldn't find a mu <laughs> couldn't find a mu to type
Oh, the bastard changed course. Give me to them baffles. Right two. One, two, three. Helm, I. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering I. Is there nothing that a log log plot cannot solve? Just plot everything on a log log plot. All, all is well in the world. <laughs> Con, helm, steady course. For audio, it's dB per volt. Speaker sensitivity is normally measured as dB per one volt at one meter distance. DBV. Oh god. All this decibel shit. <laughs> I thought radiation was bad enough with the frickin' the rank the runkin and the gray, sievert, rem, red. But nope, I think DB takes the cake of confusing units. Everything is equal to one half of anything times a constant. <laughs> <clears throat> Septi half bells. <laughs> yeah, old school units where some dudes like, I'm going to invent a unit. This is 3.21 giraffe power. Three point two one giraffe power per volt amp pi squared. Just getting into them baffles. At some point, I need to figure out what is the quickest way to get to the baffles. That's not necessarily the best course of action. That doesn't. That may result in like the largest distance change. But I'm curious to know because I'm stubborn. And I like solving problems, but I will forget about it the second the stream ends. And this is a tango, so we got to be a little more careful. He's got the frickin' He's got the tests. And those ducted props, Con, helm, ducted screws. Yeah, there's there's get to the baffles the quickest. There's keep the distance as a uh, keep the separation as small as possible, of course. There's some course that does it in the least amount of time, too, probably. <laughs> oh, any second now. We are. Okay, there you go. I was about to say, we are close. Make turns for one. Zero knots. Maneuvering up. All right. Send them a Not volley. Oh my god, there's one, someone behind me. Zero <laughs> Come right to two, four, three. Helm, I. All right, we're going to ping. Con sonar, switching to active search.
Tiernan, hello. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna shoot back on that torpedo in the water. Ping, ping, ping. Ping bearing. All right, let's get out of here. Sonar. Things like too far away to even pick him up. Oh, there's Gun another launch right over there. Oh, I cut a wire. C has cut the wire. God damn it. I'm trying to press H for course. Okay, somewhere over that way. 8,000 yards or so away. Oh, it's all gone to shit. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna nope the hell out of here. Sonar, we are cavitating. Con, helm, steady course. I always got wires. This guy's wearing a wire. Con, sonar, no longer cavitating. Been watching The Expanse and playing a bunch of Nebulous and your brain struggles to work in 3D. Yeah, space, man, that has a whole other dimension. Never mind orbits and the fact that you're always orbiting something and changing your sphere of influence and all that kind of crap. Five, five, zero feet, die by. Yeah, I'm fine with just watching the expanse and just like turning my brain off and being like, ooh, ah, look at the pretty space battle. <laughs> Okay, whatever torpedo shot back at me is without a wire. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing three, come right to one, five, seven, helm I. What is that? Is that my Con, torp? Or are these helm, all his torps? Course. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, zero knots. Okay, they all just turned. They're all still wire guided. But I love the expanse. The first three seasons are just like amazing. <clears throat> I need to watch more expanse on my HDR TV. Just to see that contrast. Noisemaker bearing three, two, eight. Con sonar lost contact. Cop. Boom. Sierra one, last bearing two, six, <laughs> six, contact breaking up. It's either Crazy Ivan from Red Alert 2, that kaboom, or the uh, the demolition guy from Team Fortress 2. Cop. Boom. <laughs> Uh, that frickin' taunt. Come right to two, one, one, helm I. Con, helm, steady course. <laughs> Are they still following me? It looks like two lost wires, but one is still wire guided. That's interesting. Kapow. Noisemaker bearing three, three, one. Dre, J Ray, one, two, five. Hello, thanks for following. I'm still thinking of cop. Boom. <laughs> Goddamn demo guy taunt from TF2. I want to stream Red Alert 2 at some point, Command and Conquer Red Alert 2, but uh, OBS will not detect the game. So I'm going to have to figure something out, whether that's like capture card stuff or. Uh, 
trying to put it in like a uh, a virtual box or something. <clears throat> Boss Doc Gundam, what's up? Or somehow figure out how to run it in a window. I think it's possible to run it in a window. Those meet the blah 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 Gunsama, TF2 Tony videos. Six, oh yeah, those are three, fun. Three, nine. Never really got into the TF2 too much. I played a lot of Team Fortress Classic. I don't know how many people know what the hell Team Fortress Classic is. It, it used to have like a Gary's Mod predecessor in Team Fortress Classic. There was like a Gary's Mod type thing in Half-Life where you could build stuff. TF2 is the reason I have Emperor in my name. Still waiting for that explosion sound in Dangerous Forest, which has the same kaboom. <laughs> you want to try streaming FS2004? Oh, I haven't played FS2004 in so freaking long. Honestly, if I were to get into a flight sim, I'd probably just play the newest one. Just got done with work waiting to see if the woman wants to play some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Nice. Yeah, my girlfriend doesn't play any video games, but she enjoys Red Letter Media, so we'll not complain about that. <laughs> JRay125, is it JRay? I've been watching your videos for years, didn't realize you were on Twitch now. Thanks for doing what you do. So pun for Modern Naval Warfare. Oh, thank you. I'm pumped as well. Yeah, I've been Twitch streaming for a while now. I was trying to think back the other day, like when I had to switch the stream to today instead of Friday. I don't even remember when I started regularly streaming these on Friday. Come right to two. That must have been like 2019 or 2020. It's not too long ago. Taught you how to play Dangerous Waters. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <clears throat> May need to redo those tutorials at some point. When I go back and watch that first tutorial, it's just kind of just like... I feel like I'm just like spouting so much... <laughs> so much stuff so quickly, but I was 23 when I made that video. It was nine years ago. Maybe 24, maybe eight years ago, but still. Did we get Sierra Dose? No? Okay, let's uh... Come right to three, five, five. Helm, oh, no, we did. Okay, we just never detected them. Okay, so let's go detect them. I think it's just a bug if you don't detect them. But we're going to go Con, detect them. To Con, Helm, steady course. Just to be certain. Just to be certain, see? Yeah. A lot of creators cringe at their older videos. Do you, Chaz? Uh, you know, it would be interesting. I'm coming up with my 10 year anniversary very shortly. Maybe I should make a reaction video to my very first video. Half-Life 2 uh, Part 1. That could be interesting. <laughs> Something like that will make me cringe after like a year or two. I think it's, uh, I think I got pretty, a lot better at it at that point. I don't think I would cringe at it too much. If you go near that wreck, it'll detect and be on the list at the end of the mission. Yeah, that's the, uh, that is the, uh, that is the goal here. Let's see if we can't detect it. Make turns for now. One. Make turns for. Bring ship for ultra quiet. But yeah, it's like late March, two months from now. Late March is when I made FPS Chasley. 
a month before that, so like late February 2013, the YouTube channel was originally called A Hard or Die Trying, so the original aim of the channel was to make... Uh, was to play like any game I would play like the hardest level and try and beat the game on the hardest level. But then that... For some reason I decided to change that to FPS Chasley like a month later. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a FPS Chasley historian, historian info for you there. So the real anniversary of me starting this is only like five or six away, but Can't FPS Chasley anniversary is like five, a month later nine. after that, so like late March. <clears throat> I think that harder die trying channel is still active. I think I still have like the goodbye video on it <laughs> for no one that was watching at the time. <laughs> Do some giveaways for the anniversary vid. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, whatever the uh, exact day is, I think I'll, maybe I'll take that off work. I'll do a, do a stream all day kind of thing. Move over Dark Soul lore. And then, yeah, that, that summer of 2013, I think it was June, is when I started doing Dangerous Waters. Because there was some very old Dangerous Waters video I posted on another YouTube channel of mine, Chasley0413, that got a lot of views. So I was like, that looks like a lucrative thing. Let's try and make videos for that. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, here we are, 10 years later. Vostok Gundam was really high watching <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam and reading about Soviet rocketry at the time when I came up with my username. Nice. <laughs> some someone like two years ago like posted some comment where they're <laughs> like, "Dude, you wish you were like half the person FPS Russia was." Like presuming I stole my name from FPS Russia. I was like, "Geez, dude, calm down. At least I didn't go to prison or whatever happened to him." <laughs> I think uh, FPS Doug was more inspiration for me than... I don't even think FPS Russia had much to do with it. I think it was FPS Doug. Because it's, it's named FPS Chasley for first-person shooter. Make turn My goal originally was one, just to do first-person shooter nine, content, but then... I was, uh, nothing was happening with the channel, so I was like, let's try that Dangerous Waters. It seemed like there were some views going on there. And then it became nine, something that I fell into and enjoyed doing very much, but did not start out with the initial goal of doing submarine games. Alright, we can speed this up, I think. Just working our way to this wreck. I think it'll be fine, but since we got the time to do it, and there's no other subs to like fight our way through, I think I'll, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll take the time and detect the wreck. Can you get Studer bo bottles of Baileys? Nice giveaway idea. <laughs> giveaway booze. <laughs> Oh, hey, wow. Zero. Oh, okay, Zero. it's the, uh, the wreck. <laughs> I was like, geez. Ring ship for ultra Someone quiet. else out here. Might as well do, like, a sweep while we can. Okay, we detected Sierra 2. It's not showing up on the map. I think that's a known bug. But I think we're gonna call it a day here. Ah, there you go. Oh, it was a kilo. Okay. Yeah, I see that. That's why I did not hear it. Shooter, okay. I was I was figuring you meant shooter, but yeah, there you go. <sighs> hey, look at that! It's an actual. Oh, that's a sturgeon. Oh, you know, I don't know if anyone how active anyone is on the submarine submarine veteran community on Twitter, but uh, someone I follow, old submariner, posted like a photo of USS Parchy at commissioning, and then like at. Uh, coming into port after the last the last deployment in 2004 
And I did not realize for the Parchy, which was a sturgeon class, that they they moved the Fairwater planes higher up on the sail and then inserted like a 100-foot section forward of the sail in the bow there. <laughs> Just very interesting to see that. Because I, I guess whenever I saw Parchy and like her super spy configuration with those those fair waters moved up i just always assumed it was a permit originally <laughs> magor maher mager <laughs> All right. Oh, they're getting me to refit with seven torps. Interesting. Not going to complain. There's someone, some Soviet sub slinging back east across the Sosis line there. Look at that 40,000 even. I bet it was off by a few single, by a few ones, ones places. Okay. Flag country officers, bunch of admirals. Okay, new orders. Enemy attack subs are attempting to transit through the Denmark Strait in order to attack vital North Atlantic convoys. You must sink them. No clue as to diesels or nuke boats. Okay, patrol area green 312 north northwest of Iceland. Let's rearm. Rearm and repair that dub. All right, anchors away. Safe. I'll bear back. Gentlemen, rest your sphincters. <laughs> Is Stewie here yet? <laughs> Watched some Blazing Saddles yesterday. Just got it on Blu-ray. It's a great looking Blu-ray. How about a Guinness stream? No one will get drunk, we'll just pass out. Yeah, we'll just all get full and sleepy. Gotta drink the Guinness warm. Ooh, I don't think I've ever done that. Luke cold, as they say. <clears throat> ah, yeah, the cans of Guinness with the Wizzo ball. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, Blazing Styles is great. <laughs> okay, we're all rearmed, repaired. Give me a save ski. What is our official area? 312. Just shy of 311. <clears throat> Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Harumph. <laughs> Watch your ass. Oh, come here, you. Oh, we were going to miss him. Close. 10 knot intercept. This might be them. Probably is. I always forget you lose a lot of time from the reload. <clears throat> no duck, no liar. We're heading their general direction. Do it. Don't know whether to expect diesels or nukes. 16 March 90. Wow. This is a month before I was born and change. Sonar, new contact bearing. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, maneuvering. Making turns Victor for Dva. five knots. Shuka. Con, sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Make depth three five zero feet dive high. 
And we haven't been getting the, the Victor 3s because they got the standoffs. And the Usits. Victor 2 is a little lacking. you think they would like upgrade it to, to have the modern weaponry, but I don't know. It's so weird seeing the Cons Victor 1. It looks Sierra like a stubby. Is cavitating. Like that super short 747 variant or something. It's just kind of weird looking. <laughs> to me. Saw Blazing Saddles when his first run in theaters. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was like the first fart in a movie, like, first fart scene in a movie, wasn't it? <laughs> Boss Dog Gundam was a year old in March of 90. Well, well. <laughs> There's so many great lines from Blazing Saddles that I want to say, but the AI will not like it. <clears throat> <laughs> Only the Victor 3 is enough vodka, enough space for vodka. <laughs> okay, it's pretty quiet out here. Oh, we pinged. Oh, we're in ping range. Con, sonar, launch train oh, he's close aboard. One. Make turn. Make con sonar. We are cavitating. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra One. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra One. Oh, that's not too close. Wow, he launched four torps. Holy shnikes. Con helm, steady course. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Con sonar, switching the passive Ooh, search. there's someone else out there. Just got to ping off to this way. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. <clears throat> A bad worse. <laughs> you liar. Come on, you pansy. Oh, the skipjack is great with the acceleration. I wonder who's got the... Uh, I wonder if Alpha's... I would guess the Alpha has better acceleration. But skipjack ain't no slouch in the acceleration God, department. Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. We can look. Well, wow. they don't give the... Uh, the power here in these stats, so we can check out alpha displacement. Yeah, it's pretty much the same weight. I think it has somewhat on something on the range of almost double the power. <laughs> something insane. <clears throat> Con sonar, noisemaker bearing. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con hey. sonar, contact. Sierra one. Last bearing one five. five. Con helm. Steady course. Okay, someone else out there is pinging. <laughs> Meet me in my dressing room. <laughs> Oh, he launched some torps. Con sonar, new contact bearing two four zero designated Sierra two. Eh, 
Did I skip right over it? Oh, CR2 is like a fishing boat or something. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Can we see if we can't hear this enemy submarine? Seems to be pretty far. I think these are sets. I think it's another Victor 2. Maybe a Victor 1. Could also be a hodgepodge group. Could be some diesel boat. Don't make no sense, but could be possible. <clears throat> yeah, okay, we're not picking this guy up. Three knots, ultra quiet. Alright, let's just, uh, we're just gonna head that way. Make turns. Make turns for seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Victor plus Julietsky? Maybe. Maybe Charlie. But I would expect... I think Charlie has standoff torps. Yeah. Con maneuvering. Making turns for seven knots. So, I, if it were a Charlie, I would expect some standoff torps to be launched, but... Con helm. Steady course. That is, just because there weren't any does not mean that it isn't. But it's probably not. <laughs> Okay, we gotta be aware that there's a Mark 48 over there. Plug along at like two thirds here till we get about even with that uh Victor 2 Hulk. See what we can hear. Don't know what the other dude's doing, he's just plugging away on the pinging. Only shot two torps, one hit the Victor, the other one's circling, so he's not getting chased by anything. <laughs> just plugging away. Oh, jeez. Hello. Make turns for three, Can we get him on a ping? Nine, Can we get a ping? Come right to two, seven, four, helm, I. Maybe if we weren't going so fast, but. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Con helm, steady course. Ooh, just ran out of gas, huh? Okay. Come left. Make turns for 
one, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Uh, let's back, let's back calculate the range. Somewhere around this far away. <laughs> Ooh, that. Okay, the last time I looked, I think that ping has traversed a good bit. Moichen. Moichendizing. Spaceballs 2, the search for more money. Emergence where your Game Boy is. <laughs> Sink it! Does Nintendo still... They, did they stop making Game Boys? Do they still make the 3DS? Or has that all been like consolidated to Switch? Switch Realm? Speaking of Switch, the next uh, Breath of the Wild game comes out this year. I can't believe it's been six years since Breath of the Wild came out. That is, uh... That is perplexing. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> We're getting pings from the guy, but it's like not enough to even get like a track. This game won't do tracks on just pings. How much more juice does that Mark 48 got? Okay, we got a safety factor of two on the maximum range of that Mark 48 warhead. Should be good. Let's speed it up. I'm gonna slow to eight. Make turns for eight knots. More for my sonar's performance sake than anything. Make turns for Cop seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar lost con con. Dude, that would be so Heading funny course. to put my voice in this cop boom for those explosions because if like it's a far distant one, it'd just be like cap boom. <laughs> I think it would be better to put the cop boom on top of the explosion sound instead of just cap boom. That's just me. Make depth four zero zero feet die by. Oh my gosh, someone launched a torpedo. Con sonar switching to active search. Make turns for one five knots. Maneuvering eye. And they launched that torpedo from pretty far away. Okay, can we slow down to like try and actually like hear this thing? Is Ultra Quiet turn pings off? No. I'm gonna get a return on this dill hole. I think we have a little bit of time. It was something like on the order of 8,000 yards. I'm gonna return fire. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra two. Con sonar new contact. Hey, there you go. One, two, four. Another victory two. Sierra. Okay. Con maneuvering, making turns for 
three knots. Guns, fire control. We've lost the wire. Guns. Give him the old three torp spread, and then we're gonna give it the old uh. We are cavity. For my next impression, Jesse Owens. Can make that cop boom exactly like that. <laughs> Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two Maybe. last bearing three two three contact is in the baffles. Christmas streams for the beta. Modern naval warfare beta. I mean next this Christmas. All right. Uh, which uh, wait 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 what, what are we doing? We're going this way. Come <clears> right <throat> to two five nine helm I. Make depth five zero zero feet dive I. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Con helm, steady course. Con torpedo room, tube five ready. Con sonar, lost contact. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con dive at five zero zero feet, dive by. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Oof da, oof da, cavitate 500 feet. Five, five, zero feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. We got, we got, we got stuff inbound. Okay, it just went active. It's actually a good thing. It just slows it down. I think he made a circle search torp. That dill hole. <laughs> Not complaining. <clears throat> Five at one feet's always been that. Someone at Substance wanted to know how to get ready for MNW. Yeah, I saw that thread. Bob was going to suggest reading one page a day of War, war and Peace. <laughs> Is that the one where it's like, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times? Or is that a tale of two cities? Come left to one, eight, five, helm I. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering I. Con, helm, steady course. Three one feet for Con, 20 knots, one one contact. feet for 10 knots. Zero, okay, two, I'm assuming the mods bearing. fixed zero, that stuff. Zero. Contact is in the baffles. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Nope. They didn't fix it. It's a long frickin' book, yeah. Those Russian Russian authors tend to write the tomes. War and Peace is a Russian book, right? Okay, we're hearing him loud and clear. Let's frickin' Make turns for two. Let's give zero, chase to this dill hole. Maneuvering <clears throat> I think we're still gonna hear him at flank. Make turns for three. I think he's got two knots. No, we're okay. We're even, so we're just kind of stopping the bleeding. Not really catching up to him. Come left to one, three, five. Helm I. Con helm, steady course. Come left to one. Excuse one, me. Seven. Helm I. Con, helm, steady course.
I think our passive is so strong on him, mostly for the pings, but he is very shallow and cavitating for whatever reason. <laughs> Is that it for torps? I just want to slow down for a second and listen. One, I think so. Not maneuvering eye. But I thought we launched like four torps. Where the hell did all that? Where the hell did all of them go? There's mine. Okay, We're not hearing anything else at this speed. Ooh, I think he's about to eat it. I think it's Coitens for the Victor. I you know something I've wanted for a while, but recently realized I want to get again is like the complete set of like Mythbusters. I loved that show growing up. Mail Call was a fun show too on the History Channel with Arlie Ermy. Again, no countermeasures. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three last bearing zero eight. Turns four, five knots, maneuvering eye. Make depth three, five, zero feet, dive eye. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two. Bearing bearing zero. Zero, zero, zero. It says zero, 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 but then the text just says zero. Or rather, I say zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, are we clear of weapons? We are. Leave that combat. Well done. You got the reds on the run. Hey, look. Is that just a... Wait, it's an American flag, but is that just a coincidence that that's, that that's a Ukraine flag? <laughs> Safe trip for Moichens. Intel reports a wolf pack of enemy diesel electric attack subs will sail within the next seven days and transit the Gayuk Gap. Okay, this is that same mission from earlier, but I may now nah, we'll go a little longer because there was all that troubleshooting crap in the middle in the beginning of the mission. Green twelve, green fourteen. I think that's the exact same mission I just had. Seven days, huh? Okay, we could we could be waiting here for a while. Oh, that sub kind of just stopped right there. Alright, move to intercept. It has been very favorable, this stream, with uh, bearings on contacts and our heading. Very strong duct, very strong layer. Well, well. Let's do it. On sonar, lost contact. Last bearing, zero, seven, nine. Contact faded. Zero, seven, nine. That's a zero, on nine, three. Sonar, new contact bearing, Ew. Zero, seven, Was that like a Freudian nine. slip? Sierra, one. That's freaking weird. This might be like a merchant track. Or trawler. Yep. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as merchant. Zero nine three. That was a weird bug. Let's uh, sure we'll head that way. Right Let's get beneath this layer. Nine three helm I. Make depth three zero zero feet dive I.
I wonder how many Mark 48s the Navy has. <clears throat> Con, helm, steady course. Wait, what bug? Uh, when I started the mission, the briefing screen said the contact was at 093, and then this output that the contact was 093, but Con, sonar, sonar said 079, zero seven zero nine, nine, which is the same bearing two. as this uh, Sierra 1, which is the trawler, and not the, uh, the submarine. Tango? Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. Shoot two, one. Con maneuvering, making turns for one. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Come right to two nine six helm I make depth seven zero zero feet dive I con sonar no longer cavitating con sonar lost con helm steady course lost some of the baffles but can still see them that's uh interesting oh there's someone else out there yeehaw. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, nine, nine. Con sonar, okay, let's take care from that crap. Mm. Keep pressing buttons. A bit farther off, yeah. Come right to three, two, one, helm I. Con, helm, steady course. Con, maneuvering, making turns for three, zero knots. Oh, I still got that wire. Con, sonar, noisemaker, <clears throat> come left to two, four, eight, helm I. Con, helm, steady course. Con, sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, one. Come left mm, to. I think I'm going to run October to these dorps. Helm, I. Sonar. Come left to zero seven three helm I con helm steady course make turns for one zero knots <laughs> in before circle torp yeah I didn't think about that did I <laughs> <clears throat> Kind of let my intuition work. I saw these guys were wire guided, so I was like, okay. That means they might have a bad enable point. Bearing. One, one. Con maneuvering, making turns for 
one zero knots. Con sonar. That's another zero tango. Three is classified as submerged submarine. Come left to zero zero nine helm I. Oh, that tango's putting up a putting up a fight there. Jeez, okay, hello. Alright, we're gonna give this tango down here another one just to uh play fair at it. Con sonar, switching to active search. Come right to two, two, three, helm I. Con torpedo room. Ah the speed frickin' BS. Oh boy. Like, it's one thing with the frickin' angle tubes, but these are just straight out the bow tubes. <clears throat> Last questions about modern naval warfare. Will there be an in-game editor? Yes. And the uh torpedo in the water. Bearing zero. The editing logic for like triggers and such will be much more visual. I told them to uh I'm a mission editor advisor for them on the game as well, and you'll have like a big like graphical plot of all your triggers and how they connect to each other as like a web so you can see which one affects the other instead of just trying to guess. Oh my god, I'm not a flank. It's like, where's this knuckle? Con sonar. We are cavitating. Passing 400 feet. Passing 300 feet. Passing 200 feet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2. Last bearing 1. Three, one, contact is in the baffles. Come right to zero, five, one, helm I. How much ocean will we get? Uh, the initial map will be about the same size as the Dangerous Waters map, but South China Sea. They're going more analogous to like a DCS thing where you get like a small theater, but there's a lot more detail. As opposed to Dangerous Zero, Waters, where you two, get the whole two, world, but I. detail can be severely lacking in local Con, areas. Helm, steady course. Con, fire control, and then the plan is to have additional additional areas later, like as you saw in the trailer, like maybe an Arctic area. Passing 300 feet. Passing 400 feet. Passing 500 feet. Con, sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing 600 feet. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, three, last bearing, three, four, one, contact breaking up. Con, sonar, no hey, Sierra, three, bearing. toast. One, three, three. Passing 600 feet. Con, knuckle formed. Passing 500. Con, sonar, we are cavitating. Jesus. Passing 400 feet. <laughs> These frickin' tests. 
test my patience. <laughs> Sorry. Passing 200 feet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2. Last bearing 1. Have you ever played that pure Doom Sniper? Hello. Have you ever played that pure TMA sub game? I've not. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra. It sounds bearing. good. Three, three, two. I don't really like multiplayer that much, and uh, there's no like 3D visualizations, which I like. I enjoy the the visual nature of video games, so no, I have not. I have not played it. Okay, we're full. Duke Kaboom out here. We got two. Two Sierra. Two Tangos down. <laughs> Going Rainbow Six here. Okay, we got one tor. Oh, this is still this one torpedo on me. Looks like that other guy got away. Let's not get locked up by our Helm own I Mark Forty Eight here. Eight seven Helm I. Con knuckle formed. Passing two hundred feet. Passing 300 feet. Passing 400 feet. Passing con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing. Oh jeez, hello. Son of a bitch. Passing 600 feet. Con knuckle formed. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Oh, damn, this torp is just like on my ass. Passing 300 feet. Passing 200 feet. Come left to 169 Helm I. Con Helm. Steady course. I don't want to speak for the developers, for, but from what I gather, they want it to be kind of DCS-like and that you get missions and and boats. But I, of course, do not speak for them. But I I, I would think that the God, boats would not be formed. anywhere near as expensive as DCS because you're you're like you're not dealing with like all the level of detail that goes into a plane in DCS. Boats don't That's require. Like that much work, comparatively speaking. Passing 300 feet. Flights and models and systems and Passing all that stuff. Feet. But of course, I did not speak for them. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Come right to one. You two, can lock on to that noisemaker, no, dude. Please lock on to that noisemaker. Con helm. Steady course. Come right to one seven two Helm I. Con Helm, steady course. Excuse me. Damn, this guy's being freaking pesky. Ah, kaboom! Ugh. Passing five. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Is that my Mark Forty Eight over there to send down? Sonar, yeah. No longer so. cavitating. Alright, let's check these waters. Are we clear out here? I assume so. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. I swear it feels like the torpedoes sometimes have like a random dice roll as to like how persistent they're gonna be. That one felt particularly aggressive. But to be fair, I don't think any and I think that's the only torp I've been dodging today. Tests are much more, uh, much more, <laughs> much more threatening in this game than in Dangerous Waters. Yeah, okay. Seems good to me. Gotta wait for these torps to, uh, lose their Come juice here. Two, two, one, six, helm, I. 
Con, helm, steady course. <laughs> Wolf. Buzz, your girlfriend. Con, Wolf. Computer room, tube three ready. Take two tests rather than one USIT. Oh yeah, the tests are wire guided. It's interesting how the tests are like diesel electric only. Max speed 40 knots, 27,000 yards at 35 knots, 1650 seeker. Twenty-two thousand yards, forty knots, max speed fifty knots, three thousand yards seeker. I'm gonna go Usit. I think I went Usit in dot mod too. I'll take the speed and the seeker range over the ra the absolute range. That's my preference. All right, dear. Good, 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 solid outing today. Lots of stuff sunk. Not your objective. Horse apples. Got a medal, though. Legion of Merit. Usid does not have the wire, but yeah. Hey, I was just saying it was a solid stream and it seemed like the game heard me. <clears throat> there you go. All right, we will stop it there. Thank you guys for watching. Good short weekend. Oh yeah, in my my old company, we get we got all the federal holidays off, which included tomorrow Martin Luther King Day. My new company does not, but I took it off because I got some vacation hours. The girlfriend gets it off, so yeah, one more day this weekend off for me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you had a good weekend. Have a good week at work. See you guys next time. Have a good one, and as always. Good hunting.